Welcome back guys to another beer review. You're watching all the beer and idea. I'm Baz. Uh, now, the beer that's coming up is one from the Blade. Uh, now, poured a couple of pints from it yesterday. Uh, decided not to go with that. I've tried a couple of different things uh, since then because of the issue. Uh, and seems a little bit better, but I'm not 100% convinced. Uh, but we're just going to roll with it. So what we got coming up for the blade now is, I believe it was a limited release on Beer Wolf, sold out within a couple of days, and it's from Four Pure Brewing Co. And it's keg of their Hemisphere Session IPA, coming in at 4.2%. Uh, I had a discount code uh, because of issues I've had with something else. Uh, so I actually got this cheaper than what it is, uh, but it was eight liters of uh, like I said the Hemisphere Session IPA from 4Pure which should have been $53.99 so not cheap and I've looked up the price of the cans uh, which come in at about £2 a can uh, so you get 24 of these sort of 330ml cans to a keg so uh, so yeah if you if you do the maths yourself 24 times 2 there's 48 quid 54 quid is certainly a little bit more expensive I didn't pay that like I said I managed to get it for £44. Uh, so yeah, now normally this is where I would do a video of the pour, but as I said, I've had trouble. It seems extremely lively, uh, and it seemed extremely lively yesterday. First pour, you sort of expect it, but this was really lively. Uh, I tried taking the keg out. I know it's something you shouldn't do, but I tried taking the keg out for a minute checking that the line wasn't kinked and everything and everything seemed to be fine put it back in uh, and I've left it until today so the reason I haven't done a pour a video with a pour today is because it was still quite lively yes it has settled but I don't want to be going for all that rigma uh, so that was the first initial one that I'd done out of it which was literally all head to there and a settle to there so you know that shows you how much head is, is, is thingy I know there's going to be lots of people out there telling me that I don't know how to pour a beer and shit. I've had this machine for 12 months. I've had it, owned a perfect draft for over three years. Sometimes you do get these kegs. So it, I don't believe as much as you lot want, might want to believe it. I don't believe that it's down to me. Uh, very easy to say that, but that's just my view from my experience. So uh, let's shut up and get on with the beer. So... There we go, that was the other one, which I did try and top up again, and, and the head has gone down a bit. So like I say, it's from 4Pure Brewing Co. It's Hemisphere Session IPA coming in at 4.2%. It's slightly orange, it's hazy, there's plenty of carbonation going up the glass, but we have a, a very, very spacious, big white head on there. Probably when I first poured it, it was probably something like a six finger head. It has settled. But uh, yeah, we'll go in on the nose and see what we get. Hopefully, I mean, I don't know. I may, I may say Saint to bloody beer wolf, but we'll we'll see. It, you know, I don't know. But I'm getting that aroma already, and it's very sort of stinging now. So we'll dive in now, anyway. And yeah, very sort of stinging nettle hop aroma in there. Hoppy. Like I say, big sting in that. It's almost like, reminds me of the garden. Uh, some sort of shrub or flower or stinging nettle. Stinging nettles is the main thing. Really does have that aroma. I'm not getting a lot of fruitiness from it, if I'm brutally honest. Uh, it is just all stinging nettle sort of smell. With a bit of hop as well. Uh, expected a bit more from it, if I'm totally honest. Expected a bit more. The beer has been kept... Uh, I've had it out in my shed, not in an enclosed shed, a shed where it gets air, and also it's shaded in there, but not only that, I put it in a bucket of cold water, so it's been sitting in this bucket of cold water for a couple of weeks, or about a month now it was, uh, obviously it went in the fridge before uh, overnight, so, so I've tried to keep it cold as well, So because uh, I know, you know if they get warm it could turn it, but I've done my best to keep it cold, so yeah, I mean, smells a little bit different to like I expected so without further ado let's dive in shut up get on with a review cheers everyone
yeah. For me, let's go in again. You're getting a little bit of a sort of tropical notes. Let's start with the body in that first, actually. I'm getting well ahead of myself. It does have a bit of weight to it for 4.2%, but not overly heavy. It does have a little bit of a watery feel to it as well, I'm finding. Uh, quite carbonated as well quite carbonated a little bit rough around the edges in the mouth for me uh, taste wise like I say a little bit tropical hoppy stinging nettle I'm, all, all I'm getting really or the big overpowering thing is I'm getting that stinging nettle aroma I'm getting that stinging nettle sort of taste in there. Uh, a little bit of tropical sort of notes in there. Hoppy. A little bit watery, I could maybe say. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it'd be very easy for me to sit here and say, the beer's not quite right. But I've never had this beer before. I've never had it in a can. So to criticise it would be rather harsh. If I'm trying to get the rest of that in there. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I've never had it in a can. So I've got no comparison. Uh, but I'm not 100% convinced myself. This is right if it is right if the beer is right i'm not particularly impressed with it it's not a patch on the brixton low voltage session ipa now that was good for me this i don't know it just lacks a little bit of flavor lacks a little bit of flavor an inkling of wateriness in there, like I say. Uh, for me, very run-of-the-mill sort of stuff. So, so if this beer is right, like I say, fifty-three ninety-nine for it, I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole for fifty-three ninety-nine. Uh, no, if if this is how it's supposed to be, I wouldn't touch it. Uh, I'd go straight for the Brixton Low Voltage. That was expensive at 50 quid. But that was a lot, lot better than this in my view. I do like that stinging nettle sort of twang to it. It's got a gentle bitterness. But that stinging nettle flavour is just pretty much all it is. Uh, not enough sort of body to it for me in my opinion. I know it's only 4.2%, would like to see a bit more body, would like to see a bit more of a juiciness to it. Uh, but for what you're paying for it, I don't think it's worth it myself and it's not one I would pick up again. So uh, yeah, for me, the Hemisphere 4 Pure Session IPA on the blade. On this, on this, you know, day, this keg, uh, for me, it's a disappointment. Uh, it's it's not as good as I was expecting. I think it's overpriced, but that's just my view. Uh, choice of, like I say, Brixton low voltage over this. I would take the Brixton low voltage every single day of the week and save myself a few quid. So that's my opinions on it. Uh, apologies for the review. I do apologize. Uh, it's a little bit of a disappointment for me too. If you've had this before, let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, I've not had it in the can. Let me know what, what the can's like, what you think of it. Uh, like I say, I don't, I don't know what it's supposed to be like. I can only judge this on what I've had. If you've had it out the keg, let me know because I'd be interested to see whether it's just me, whether it's my keg, whether that's the way it's supposed to be, I don't know. 
And that's it, so I'll leave it there. Feel free to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to. Don't forget all the BNO idea on Facebook, all the BNO idea one on Twitter and Instagram. That's it for this beer review. Like I say, a little bit disappointing, but hey ho, that's life. And uh, I'll see you all again on another beer review. Cheers. <laughs>